Mahomes and the Chiefs. Brady and the Bucks. First quarter. Chiefs up 3 0. Mahomes put one in the air. Tyreek Hill. 75 yard play to the place of dwelling. And it's 10 0. Still in the first. Mahomes and Hill working it. Hill again. The corner. Little stutter and walks on in. And then the flip. Bucks have no answer for this guy. Beating him on the play. Beating the other guy coming over. 203 receiving yards. Two touchdowns in just the first quarter. 20 to 7 was the score. All right, Bucks trying to get back in at second and goal. Brady zips it to Mike Evans. Down just 27 24. Chiefs ball trying to run it out. Third and seven. Mahomes, a little pressure. Lobs it to Hill. And that's that. Hill goes for 13 receptions, 269 yards, three touchdowns. Mahomes, 37 to 49. And the Chiefs are winners. They've won 10 games, 27 24. So Mahomes laying his claim as the best to play at this position right now. Mahomes had his fifth career game of 400 passing yards, the most in Chiefs history, as many as all other Chiefs players all time. Mahomes has been on the tear his last four games, throwing for 1,598 yards during that span. Here's the other coach on what it was like to witness it. Very, very few guys that I've ever seen in this league or any league that can backpedal 8 to 9, 10, 11 yards in the pocket <laughs> and throw a dime 25 yards down the field. Uh, he has an un unbelievable skill set. And uh, we had a lot of good rushers on him, and uh, he just keeps backpedaling away from it and slings the sidearm or whatever to, and he can read the defense as he does it, which makes him, you know, even even more explosive. And he reads pretty fortunate, isn't he, Bruce? And he's going to be coaching until he's about 80. Big play after big play after big play. And what's crazy is it's not only me, because McCall can do it, obviously. Sammy can do it. D-Rob can do it. And when we got the best tight end in the game and the best quarterback and the best head coach and the best offensive coordinator. So, you know, we're real lucky to just have a special group of guys like this. I mean, that's just the problem that defenses have when they go against us. We have so many good weapons. It's hard to try to take away one guy when we can go to the other guys. And so uh, this week it was Tyrese's week, but uh, I'm sure other guys will make big plays uh, the rest of the season. Left ourselves a big deficit to start, got off to a slow start, couldn't convert any third downs. Um, just poor execution early and get behind and, and uh, you know, players got to do a better job. We got to make the plays that are there. But everybody tried to hand us the Lombardi trophy in, in August. You know, you just don't throw guys out there with names. You got to practice. You got to learn to get in sync with each other. Uh, that, that takes time. All right, now to an AFC South matchup between the Titans and the Colts. Ryan Tannehill, Phillip Rivers. The winner of this game would take over sole possession of first place in the division. Pick it up first quarter. Coach of the 31, tied at seven. Tannehill, A.J. Brown. Pitch, catch, run. 69 yards. Titans take a 14-7 advantage. Speaking of advantages, it's a nice one to have if you're Tennessee to have Number 22 in the backfield carrying the ball for you. Derrick Henry from one yard out there. I mean, dude is just a whole problem. Check this out. Breaks a couple of tackles here. His third touchdown of the half. Mm. He had 178 yards total in this game. Fifth player in the last 20 seasons with 100-plus rushing yards and three touchdowns in the first half of a game. Titans led it big at the break, 35-14. But the Colts, Rivers, would not give up. It's 38-20. First and goal. Rivers, T.Y. Hilton, his first touchdown of the year, believe it or not. Colts failed to convert the two-point conversion, so it's 38-26. So they try the onside kick, and Brown catches it and takes it in for the touchdown. Oh, that hurts. Titans win it 45-26, and they move into first place in the AFC South at 8-3 on the season. I don't think anything's changed. I think you came out and played better. You know, we... Uh... Started the game strong last time we played them, and we didn't finish. And we have a ton of respect for this team and the way they like to play. And I uh, knew it was going to take four quarters. So came out early this game, got going, and then uh, never let up. Obviously, tough loss came in here, you know, feeling confident, feeling prepared, and um, was, was just a very poor effort. Got outplayed, got outcoached, um, really in all three phases. We're the same guys that pulled in here five hours ago, the exact same guys, you know, and certainly we just got to play better. They outplayed us today, and... And, uh, and shoot, they won the game. 
Well, the King Henry nickname is definitely fitting for number 22. Henry's now had three games with more than 175 yards and three touchdowns in his career. That's tied with future Hall of Famer Adrian Peterson for third most all time. The only players with more are already in the Hall of Fame, Jim Brown and LaDainian Tomlinson. Well, Coach Cal said it wouldn't be easy, and his scheduling scenario came true on Sunday. Uh, the Cats were taken down at home. Plus, we have the inspiring. And he's going to be coaching until he's about 80. Only two things I hate more than missing throws, and it's uh, lying and skim milk. Skim milk's just water lying about being milk. Okay, Baker. Uh, what's good, America? Here's hoping those Thanksgiving leftovers made it through the weekend with Kenny Mayne. I'm Michael Eves. Thanks for kicking with us on this fresh edition of Sports Center. When in doubt, just talk about quarterbacks. I mean, how many times have you just sat down with your friends and discussed elite quarterbacks? Agreed. No one has ever done that except on TV, and we're going to do it right now. Some say Tom Brady's the best to play the position ever. Uh, some say Patrick Mahomes the best one doing it right now. Many people say all sorts of things about quarterbacks. It does help pass the time. Here they were, their fourth meeting, Brady leading 2-1 going in. Mahomes and the Chiefs, Brady and the Bucks. First quarter, Chiefs up 3-0. Mahomes put one in the air. Tyreek Hill, 75-yard play to the place of dwelling, and it's 10-0. Still in the first. Mahomes and Hill working it. Hill again, the corner. Little stutter and walks on in. And then the flip. Bucks have no answer for this guy. Beating him on the play. Beating the other guy coming over. 203 receiving yards. Two touchdowns in just the first quarter. 20 to 7 was the score. All right, Bucks trying to get back in at second and goal. Brady zips it to Mike Evans. Down just 27 24. Chiefs ball trying to run it out. Third and seven. Mahomes.